Well, we see it all over store shelves oh, these yeah. days. Gluten free. <laughs> Some say it's a trend, while others say it's changing their life for the better. In tonight's special report, 7 and 4's Melissa Smith explains what it means to be gluten-free. To eat gluten-free means you're avoiding three grains, wheat, rye, and barley. If you're allergic to these grains or if you have an autoimmune disorder, you might need to avoid these grains entirely. Nowadays, it seems that's becoming easier to do. Red Mesa Grill in Traverse City, you'll find cooks in the kitchen preparing gluten-free meals. We've gone and found gluten-free tortillas and Worcestershire sauce. The restaurant specializing in Mexican and Latin American food started their gluten-free menu about seven years ago, all to accommodate to people with celiac disease. It's an autoimmune disease that causes the digestive system to see gluten as a toxin. We found a, almost a daily use for it. People come in and now we're kind of known for it. So people come in looking for the, the celiac friendly foods and our kitchen staff is well trained in how to handle those things. The term celiac disease is actually an autoimmune disorder where your digestive system has decided gluten is a toxin. So what happens is all these little villi that absorb your nutrients with this immune response, they swell up and they blunt. And so then you can't absorb your nutrients very well. Laura McCain, a registered dietitian and chef at Munson Medical Center says gluten-free involves a specific diet. Gluten-free means you're avoiding three grains, wheat, rye, and barley. Those are the three grains that contain the gluten portion that people can react to. Although digestive problems are the main concerns for a gluten attack, McCain says symptoms vary from person to person. It's when people start avoiding gluten that they notice a difference. Some people feel better immediately, within a couple of days. All of a sudden they have, they have more energy, they sleep better, um, they can think better. What about people who don't have a gluten allergy or don't have celiac disease? But then there's a whole different realm of folks who find that if they eat gluten-free they do feel better but we don't have a specific term for that we don't have a diagnostic methodology to measure a blood level for this or that um, so that gets a little trickier gluten is not a bad thing just because some people have an allergic reaction or an autoimmune reaction to it doesn't mean that I need to take it out of my diet. The good news is with a fad, it brings it to the fore. Everybody's talking about it. This forefront could be helping people with serious health problems realize them before it's too late. You know, if you ask your immune system to be on hyper alert for enough years, it causes troubles with your digestive system. It can increase your risk for colon cancer because of this chronic inflammatory state. There is a blood test to check for celiac disease. A more specific test called an upper endoscopy allows a physician to see directly into your upper intestine and check for a gluten allergy. In the studio, Melissa Smith, 7 and 4 News. Now, Laura McCain says people are born with the genetic tendency to develop celiac disease, so it can be hereditary. She says it's always best to check with your doctor first if you think you need to be tested for celiac or other possible digestive disorders.